I was wondering your thoughts on VTCLX or other tax managed funds. I have not heard any discussion of these. For those with large amounts of stock holdings in taxable accounts who are not planning to donate the appreciated assets, is there any information around this type of fund versus a VTI, the total stock market fund, or an S&P 500 fund? Okay, so we're using tickers, which really isn't really isn't fair to use tickers, right? Who memorizes tickers? Yeah, I know VTI. You know, I probably know the tickers for the four or five ETFs I actually use, but that's not fair to podcast listeners, right? Nobody knows these things by the tickers. So VTCLX is the Vanguard Tax Managed Capital Appreciation Mutual Fund. Okay, this is one of these funds that Vanguard started. And it's really interesting. And by the way, you should read this book I finished recently called Stay the Course. It was Jack Bogle's last book, but you can read all about the history of Vanguard and when these funds were made and why and what the reasoning was behind them. And it's super interesting, actually, if you've been a fan of Vanguard for a long time. Um, But anyway, that's what that fund is, is it's this um, fund that's trying to appreciate your capital, right? And, but also be fairly tax efficient, you know, for a tax, um, for a taxable account. And so you can learn about this mutual fund just like you can any other mutual fund. If you go to, if you search that ticker or the name of the fund and Morningstar, it'll take you to Morningstar's analysis. And what you'll learn if you go here is there's $18 billion in this fund. It's uh, got an expense ratio of 0.09%. It's mostly invested in large blend stocks, you know, so that's fairly similar to an S&P 500 uh, fund. And if you look at the portfolio, you can see um, that it's, you know, pretty broadly diversified. It's got 981 stocks in it. Um, and they're all the stocks you've heard of, right? Apple, and Microsoft, and Amazon, and, um, you know, Alphabet or Google, Tesla, you know, that's what their main holdings are. So this is similar to an S&P 500 fund. So the question is, do you just take an S&P 500 fund? It's going to be investing in the same stocks. Or do you somehow grab this one and hope it does better because they're tax managing, right? Well, the truth is an S&P 500 fund is very tax efficient to start with. So there's very little that can be added to make it more tax efficient. But what you'll notice if you look at it is you will notice um, that its yield is probably lower, I'm going to guess, than an S&P 500 fund. And uh, let's look at it. The yield is 1.25%. And uh, if I go and look at the same yield for VOO, which is the uh, S&P 500 ETF version, um, you'll see that that uh, you'll see that yield is 1.45%. So the difference between 1.25% and 1.45%, you'll get a bit, little bit less money in dividends. You'll probably have a similar return, right? But a little bit less money in dividends. Um, and so it's theoretically a little more tax efficient. Um, I'm not a big fan of that sort of active management. I think they're just as likely to choose the wrong stocks as to choose the right stocks. And it's already so tax efficient. I don't know that it's really worth bothering, but we can go and look at the performance of this fund. Um, Again, I'm at Morningstar. I click on the portfolio tab or the performance tab, and I can go back and see um, what the performance has been versus the S&P 500, which I think is the index they're using to compare here. Let's see. No, they're using a using a Morningstar index there. But basically what they're saying is that uh, over the last 15 years, they got 10.86% and the index got 10.77%. So they outperformed it uh, by almost nothing, basically got the index return. Uh, And if we look at the same thing uh, for the S&P 500 fund, we will see that uh, over the last 15 years, I don't have a 15-year return for that particular ETF. So let's use the uh, fund. The FINX is what it is. So we can get an apples-to-apples comparison. And you'll see under the performance that it was 10.74%. So they did beat the index, but not by much. They beat it over 15 years by 14 basis points a year. Okay, so it's not a bad choice. You won over the last 15 years, not by much. You know, you you put your nose across the finish line before the index fund did, um, but you won. So maybe you'll win over the next 15 years. Um, Is it slightly more tax efficient and get about the same return? Yeah, probably is. So it's okay to use. Just realize that 
you know, once you buy something, you're kind of stuck with it long term in a taxable account once it appreciates. You know, if you're not willing to donate shares to charity and you don't want to sell them, you're stuck with it long term. So be sure you really like it. Um, anytime you use an actively managed fund, things can change. The manager can change. Um, but I would expect that particular fund to be managed pretty conservatively. You know, they're mostly a closet index fund that just tries to add a little bit on the tax uh, management side. So it's okay to use that. Um, these funds in general from Vanguard, they're mostly a failure because they're, most of them are not necessarily uh, dramatically more tax efficient nor necessarily outperforming um, the comparable index fund. Um, when you read Jack Bogle, Bogle's take on them a few decades after he created them, um, you know, he, he doesn't necessarily call them a failure, but he doesn't call them a smashing success. Um, they're fine, but they're nothing special. I don't use them. Um, if ETFs had never come along, I think they'd be more popular, but with an ETF, I think you can get that tech, extra little bit of tax efficiency you're looking for. Um, and I don't think you need to use the tax managed funds. The hosts of The White Coat Investor are not licensed accountants, attorneys, or financial advisors. This podcast is for your entertainment and information only. It should not be considered professional or personalized financial advice. You should consult the appropriate professional for specific advice relating to your situation. 